All right, guys, just came up with my first set of the day. <clears throat> it's day two. We're back at it. These, uh, looks like a couple of these were set off, but no rats in them. So I'm going to get my stuff out here and get these two traps reset. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, we do have one in this one. There we go. I didn't even see him in there. Nice little rat. Not bad. 220 catch on that one. Okay, well maybe there is one in this other one too. I don't think there is, but let's see. Now, this one probably got set off while he was running around in there, if I had to guess. But, uh, yeah. Nice. There we go. First rat of the uh, 2022 muskrat trapping season. Nice body catch on that guy. I'm going to get this trap reset. We're going to get back in here because I'm, I'm guessing there's more than one. More than one rat in this hole. Just from all the mud and the activity in here. Then I'll get that trap reset too. take this guy onto the shore here so I'm not falling through the ice get him out of here this is probably I'd say your average size rat not huge but not small either There he is. How about that? Nice. Roll him around the snow a little bit. Get him dried off. It's a little trick you can do. Same with beavers. If you have some fresh snow, you pull them out of the trap wet. Just roll them around the snow and it dries them right off. But uh, not bad. On to the next set now. All right, guys. Coming up on the second set here today. Let's see if we got anything in this one. Remember this mud was awful thick in here. Uh, not seeing one, but let's get in here a little bit. one. I'm going to go ahead and pull this trap just because it's kind of out of the way. And uh, I don't really like walking all the way back here for it. But uh, we'll find another spot to get this trap in. Seems like most of the muskrat activity is on the other side of this pond anyway.
All right, we've got one more spot to check at this pond before we go to the next one here. Hopefully, got another rat. We're at in that set too. Well, these jagger bushes are getting old. Okay. Coming up on the last set at this pond that I have, right in behind that log there. I'm gonna get back in there and see if we got any rats. Hopefully, I know they were coming in and out of that spot on the bank there. I put a, uh, a double set up, just because the hole was kind of big and I'm running 110s and I didn't want them to slip by. I didn't want them slipping by one of them, so I put two of them out. Grab my axe. Hatchet. Let's get in there. Get broken through this ice real quick. So I can get a foot in. Let's see what we got here. Got a trap, both of them set off, it looks like. Let's see if we got one. Nope, no rat in that one. Let's check this one. No rat in that one either, huh? Well, guys, they're definitely in here, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Guess I'll just get these get these reset and uh, see if we can't make something happen. I think I need to get a trap right in on the edge of this here. If there was just one trap set off, I'd say, you know, maybe, maybe uh, just a stick or something came through it, but with both being set off like that, I'd say there's definitely, definitely a rat or two in this. This is just kind of to direct them into that trap. I kind of have stuff stacked up around it there. But, uh, I definitely think we'll be on to them at some point here. Get this one reset. And that's why they call it trapping, not catching. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna get them. This this hole goes right right there. sure there's no more yeah. yeah they gotta be coming right in around this 
they might they might be shooting at around that too. I need to get a stick or something to block that off. Maybe I'll grab another stake real quick. Just enough that they can't get around that spot and they have to go through the trap then. I don't know how to do it though. Get a couple more pieces of stick, just shove it down in here. And that ought to do it. There's still a bit of a hole there, but. Need to move this one. Because they're not going to be able to squeeze through that. They're not going to get through that hole anymore. So, sweet. Ought to be a rat here in the morning for sure. All right. Well, one rat out of this spot. And we'll be off to the, uh, the next pond here in a minute. All right, guys, second spot of the day. Hopefully we've got some more rats. Oh yeah, this looks good. Got this all tore up. What do we got here? Oh, he's got the trap yanked off of there. Huh, this is interesting. First time I've had this happen. Let's see what we got here. Couldn't have made it too far with that trap hanging on him. I might have to break up all this ice to see where that thing went. I don't feel the trap up the hole there. Well guys, I'm going to break up all this ice. See if I can find them in here. And then, hopefully nobody stole the trap. That's kind of what I'm thinking happened actually. This spot is right next to the road here and if somebody saw me in here yesterday, they could have came in and taken my trap. But, uh, so I've never had one come off the stick like that before. It's almost like somebody took it off. Yeah, guys, I'm starting to think somebody stole that trap. Because I don't see that rat laying anywhere under the ice here. And I've never had one. He'd have to take the whole stick with him. I can't imagine he'd just work a trap off the stick, so... I'm gonna stick one more in here, but we'll see uh, see what happens, I guess. Probably end up losing another trap. All right, walking up on the next set here. Let's see, there we go, we've got a rat. All right, got one down in there. One of the traps was set off. Other one's not. I'm gonna reset those. And uh, there's definitely a couple rats in this pond, more than just the one or two. So I'm gonna get this one reset. Wow, head catch on that one. Nice.
good size rat there. We'll get him up and roll him around with snow, but uh, not bad, not bad at all. We're on to rat number two of the day. All right, I'm gonna reset this trap, get that back in there. Hopefully on the other side of the pond, I can get one out of that too. The only thing I'm thinking is either somebody ripped the trap out of the ground and stole it, or uh, or they or I had a rat in there and they took that too. But uh, yeah, you really don't see that because like if you take a look, you take a look at like the hanger like this, like that rat did not pull this out of the ground. So I can't imagine there's a rat that's pulling out a a two inch wide section of board out of the ground either. Um, I'm not seeing it. And taking the whole trap with it, it'd have to be a record size rat, but uh, I'm gonna get that back in there like so. Make sure, they're probably coming out of that side piece too there. I might throw one more trap in there. Kinda looks like they're coming in and out of there. Maybe if that one blocked off the hole, but uh, I'm gonna get one more trap in this here. These little stakes here are nice for uh, more public areas because people don't, you don't see them sticking up out of the water. And, uh, and that's nice because then people won't come in and mess with your traps. So. See if we can't catch one coming out of there. We might be able to. We'll see. We just have to see what happens. That should be good. We're at number two of the day. Let's go. Move them around the snow a little bit. Dry them off. This uh, this rat's a little bigger than that first one. That first one I got this morning. But all right. Shaping up to be a good season so far. Last year was a little bit rough, but uh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're gonna be back into them this year. Got one more spot to check on the way home today. And then uh, I might go out and do some scouting or something this afternoon, look for more. All right guys, we've got two rats so far. I'm pretty pumped up right now, just cause last season wasn't a very good season in general. I think I caught three rats all season last year. So we're already two thirds of the way there today. We still got one more spot to check, most likely the, the best spot. Uh, I'm kind of saving that one for last just because I'm pretty amped up about it and I think it's we're going to have good results there. But uh, there's definitely more rats in those two spots that I was just at. Um, I think it's just going to be a matter of time and finding out uh, their, their pattern kind of. I had those two traps set off. In the, in the first spot I went to today, nothing in them. So there's rats in there. I don't know what happened, if it just bumped into them and it set the traps off or what happened. But uh, I think we're gonna have one in there tomorrow. The spot I was just at, the second spot of the day, uh, you know, I've, I've never seen uh, a conibear trap, a 110 conibear trap come off of the stick like that before. Like, like we're talking like a 30 pound muskrat to yank that off there because I have a hard time just getting those traps up on the sticks. So I'm thinking being as close to the road as it is, somebody might have came along and stole the trap. I know I'm, I'm right next to a major roadway and people were driving by yesterday when I was getting my traps in. And uh, you know, I wouldn't put it past somebody to come in and, and take a trap like that, especially if it had a rat in it. And who knows, I might have actually caught that rat and somebody came in and stole it. I'm gonna ask the landowner if he knows of anybody else that's been in there or anything like that, but when you have a trap stolen, there's really not a whole lot you can do about it. 
luckily the 110 Kona bears are only about 10 bucks a piece so it's not a huge loss and uh if they did take a rat it is what it is you know I mean if you're if you're trapping in 2022 you're not you're not trapping for the money that's for sure you're trapping just because you like trapping and uh maybe you do something yourself with the hides and the furs but uh it just kind of sucks when stuff like that happens and uh but what are you going to do at the end of the day you keep going and get more traps out get more rats get more whatever it is that you're trapping and uh keep going if somebody if somebody comes in and takes your trap don't let that discourage you from trapping not everybody's like that but you do have a few bad apples here and there and people that they just don't have the respect for it but uh at the end of the day keep going you get more traps in the ground so i'm heading out to the last spot of the day i got stuff flying all over in the back of the car right now but we're two rats on the day i think we're gonna have a good day here and uh hopefully get a couple more out of this last spot all right last spot of the day here hopefully uh hopefully I have some luck here Get the gloves out see what we got all right first set I had I had two two sets right on this piece of pipe up here where I'm pretty sure they were trying to build a hut and uh let's see what we got oh yeah oh -ho! two rats baby that's what I'm talking about right there let's get these two guys out of here a little two for one in this spot smaller one half decent looking bigger one Oh yeah, there we go. Two more, two more on the day. This is a good size rat here. Not absolutely huge, but good sized. Check this one, this one looks a bit smaller. I'm guessing it's a male and female pair. I know this pond's loaded with them. This one's a little smaller. Well, they might both be males, actually. Two male rats. Nice. I'll set those there and I'll, uh, I'm gonna reload these traps here and get them stuck back in because I'm guessing there's other rats in here using this hut. So, get these babies back on. Well, guys, we're into them today. <laughs> There's number six right there. All right. We are into them. I haven't had a day this good in a while, actually. This is sweet. Let's reset this trap. This pond's full of them, that's for sure. Not a huge rat, but another one on the day. I'll get that one in the pack. We're gonna have some cleaning to do tonight. <laughs> pack full of rats. 